Zachary wears number 81. Freshman Matt Nelson kicks it off, and we're underway. Short kick fielded by Fannin at the 10-yard line. And Fannin, still on his feet, gets out to about the 22, maybe the 23-yard line. Return of Ernst. Ernst has since been converted to a wide receiver. We're going to see him all over the field today. Running on first down, this is Ben Tate, the senior from Newark, Maryland, picks up eight yards. We're going to see a faster-paced Auburn team this year. New offensive coordinator, Gus Malzahn. Will end around. Left side still on his feet. Terrell Zachary gets the first down and a bunch more out to the 41-yard line. This is Chris Todd at the quarterback spot. And a handoff. Ontario McAuliffe, his first carry of his career. The freshman from Fort Meade, Florida, picks up nine. The burst is McFadden. They give it out to McAuliffe again. And this time, picks up just a couple, but that's going to be enough for the first down. Alzon says he wants his team to be the fastest team in all of football. Ben Tate, another carry. This time a pickup of the backfield. And they fake the Tate quarterback keeper. And Todd is downed after a pickup of the down of the ball game. Third down at three. Todd again from the gun. Plenty of time. Now being chased, just has to throw it away. Nobody home, and they're going to throw a flag. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Number 85. So because of the penalty, they convert on third down. A little chicanery, give it to Tate. And Tate is swamped behind the line of scrimmage. And second down. Pass to the sideline is complete. Darvin Adams. Third down and one. Short yardage. They give to Tate. Tate the first down and more. Down to aggressive. Again, the give to Tate. Eyes right tackle. And is dropped after a pickup. Second down at 13, it's a backfield of McCaleb and Fannin. Next to the quarterback, Chris Todd. And they give it to McCaleb. And he gets back what they lost. They'll bring up a third. Todd with time, tries the end zone, passes high, and it's going to be out of bounds. Catch was 25-yarder. Up and down year a season ago for Byron. This one is true. So his first kick of 2009 is a good one. Davis is back deep. He wears number six. A couple of career kickoff returns for touchdowns. Also returned a punt for a touchdown. He's got it at the three-yard line. And Livis could return out to the 27-yard line. Field behind him, Daniel Porter, number 20. He's one of the best in the whack. And they give it to Porter. Drives the left side. Stays on his feet, bounces off a couple of guys. Out, where's number five, a nose tackle. And they get the ball to Livas out in space. Makes the first man miss, gets the first down. They can compete speed-wise with anybody at Auburn. Porter next to the quarterback. Livas goes in motion, snap goes awry, and it's going to be a big-time loss. And quarterback Jenkins goes out wide right. It's a wildcat formation. They snap it right to Porter. And Porter gets out to the third. They need to cross the 50 and get to the 48. Jenkins with time. A little bit too high and outside, and a flag comes down late. Pass interference, number six on the defense. Dogs, they'll take it. They cross midfield. Mike Compton, now into the game for the first time. He wears number 26. He's in the backfield for Louisiana Tech. They give it to Compton. He breaks through the line and picks up two. Maybe. La Tech to throw it. And around. This is Livis. And Livis to the 45. Little foul, face mask, number four on the defense. 15-yard penalty from the end of the run, first down. What do you see in a early airs, guys ready and wound up to play? Jenkins hands it off to Livis. They really have been committed to getting the ball to Livis. And we've got another face mask penalty. Back-to-back -back face masks called against Auburn. Jake Ricks this time. A four total for the Auburn Tigers. Haven't even played 10 minutes. Porter, left side. He's wrapped up around the face mask. No penalty this time. La Tech trying to avoid the negative plays. They're already quite possibly in field goal range. Jenkins to the zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs! Dennis Morris is tight end. His first catch, his first touchdown. Really believe he has a chance to play at the next level. He keeps stretching the field like that. He just may. Two kickoff from Matt Nelson. 
Oklahoma to go. McCaleb got the ball, starts at the 10. Full head of steam, crosses the 30, out to the 34. To, to have long drives against them tonight. Pitch out in the flat. Mario Fannin with the grab, a pickup of three yards. He doesn't have that versatility yet. Another run for Ben Tate, the senior. Personnel in here. Once again, quickly back to the line of scrimmage. On third down and one, they power it over. Play action. Todd with time. Middle of the field. Caught. Fannin in the slot. Big game. Hooking up. Wildcat formation. Burns back into the game. Takes the direct snap. Keeps it himself. And Burns rumbles. Tate trying to elude some tacklers. Loose some ground, picks up some ground. Stays on his feet down to the 12-yard line before he's pushed out of bounds by Antonio Baker. Burns back in. Burns the quarterback a year ago. Where's number 18? Fakes the handoff. And Burns nowhere to go. He's dropped. Adrian. Move these chains. Todd again. Out wide right. This is Burns with the snap. And Burns crosses the 10 down. The game to the second half to win it in the fourth quarter. Todd under center. Third down at seven. Rose complete. Fannin out of the backfield with the Burns back in the game in the Wildcat formation. McCaleb goes in front of him. Burns takes it himself and scores. How about that for a drive for the Auburn Tigers? They march all the way down for six. Extra point is for of ten to seven. Kickoff by Wes Byram. Fielded by Livis at the four-yard line. And Livis shoots through the first gap, gets out to the 25, and that's it. Second possession of the season for the Bulldogs of Louisiana Tech. Quick pitch and catch. Livis. Patients and personnel of La Tech. Livis out of the game. They hand it off to the first man through. Daniel Porter gets the... They do best. Swing out to Livis. Livis dragged down at... Thank you, Lowell. Second down and short. Porter spins out a little bit to get the call. R.P. Stewart in motion. Quarterback keeper, first of the best defensive lines in the SEC. They got it. And then some. Porter still have the defensive lineman weighing in on him and so far he's shown a good job of getting into space and getting hit Craig Stevens on the sack loss of 17 on the sack back to the ground now we'll see what his pass rush is like third down at 14 underneath trying to set something up DJ Morrow is just swarmed let's go we'll kick and Glasgow's first collegiate punt is a high spinner Mario Fannin bobbles it Loose on the ground, and I think Auburn's jumped on it. Woof! That was almost a disaster for the Tigers. But they keep the football backfield just behind Chris Todd, who slips and wraps around the handoff. Kind of an ugly play to begin with, but it's ended up to be pretty pretty. A first down. That play had base. McCaleb stays in the game. This time he's pass blocking as Todd wants a bunch. Going deep, looking for D'Angelo Benton, and it's incomplete. Elizabethtown, Kentucky, out of the shotgun, fakes the handoff. Tons of time, spins it out, incomplete. This big best, thank you. And Boo Smith was first team all whack a year ago. Third down at 10, underneath, pass complete to Tate, but no last season, averaging 42 yards per boot. Philip Leibitz, will he get a chance to touch it? Nope, he's going to have to just get away from this. Bouncer, and it's going to be downed at the 23-yard line. Third possession for Louisiana Tech. A little pitch and catch underneath. Make handoff, and a ball is loose. It's a fumble. Auburn football. Todd never really had a good handle on it, and the Auburn Tigers have the ball. Nick, he had some pressure in the backfield, and he may have got his mitt on that football. Todd wants to capitalize on it quickly. Down the right sideline, incomplete. The yards. Wrap round handoff to Tate. And Tate down to the 23. 
Todd split out wide right. Burns going to keep it himself. Has the first down and more. Down to the 10-yard line. Burns has been in. Fresh set it down. Burns again. Handle starting. Tate. Down to the six. Ball may have come out late. It did. Bulldog football. Each side with the turnover now throwing the first half. Porter snuffed out. Horse may need some help. He just got blown away by Fairley on that play. Underneath passes caught to Manello. His second grab. Oh, they just get it off. Hand off. Nothing doing. Pickup of a pair. You see tonight off to a great start at seven for seven. Another handoff. Porter. Out to the 26, maybe 27. It's going to bring up third down and manageable. And Ross really epitomizes in a lot of ways a lot of the personnel for La Tech, especially matched up against an SEC powerhouse. He's not the biggest guy. He's not the flashiest. He's not going to throw it 70 yards, but he'll play within the system. He believes in this staff and in his team, and he, he's exactly what Derek Dooley wants in this program. And I believe why they've taken that next step. They believe they can go anywhere and win. Do they believe they can pick up a third and one? They want to pass for it. Underneath to Manello, second. In the pass rush. Tyrone Duplessis gets the fake, and instead they spit it out. The tight end, Morris, with the grab. Still in the game, he wears number 22 in the backfield. This time they give it to him. Makes the first man miss and then is wrapped up. Duplessis out, quarter back in. Complete. Third and three. In trouble. Flag down. Incomplete. Doesn't panic. Personal foul. Face mask. Number 49 on wow. the defense. Wow. 15-yard penalty. It's two now on Michael Goggins. He's up in Minnesota as their D coordinator. Also, spent time as the head coach at Duke in the ACC. Play fake. Jenkins wants a bunch. Oh, almost intercepted. The first incompletion thrown by Jenkins. This strike is caught. Play in the first half. Jenkins, complete. Porter makes the first man miss and gets the first down. Inside the 20, down to the 18-yard line. Quite possibly, Louisiana Tech can hold the ball for the rest of the first half. But they want a bunch to the end zone. Incomplete. Dogs need to get inside the 10 to the 8. Jenkins wants to run for it. He's got the first down. First down and goal. Handoff. Jenkins just spikes it, trying to get it. To Jenkins. Throws to the corner. Incomplete. The tie at 10. Fort Meade, Florida, back deep. He's not going to have a chance to field this one. High spinner. Caught at the 34-yard line by Tommy Truck. Maybe La Tech doing Auburn a favor with that short kickoff. Now a conservative play call here. Wraparound handoff to McKayla. And McCaleb turns a conservative play play if they want to attempt the field goal. Todd, complete. They're going to have enough time for a field goal. They were a high of 52 a year ago. It's online. And it's good. What a way to end the first half of football for the Auburn Tigers. Ready to play. Wes Byron, who ended the first half with a 49-yard field goal, kicked this one off deep to Phillip Livitz. Live is very dangerous. A couple of kickoff returns for a touchdown a year ago. This time swarmed and stopped at the 24-yard line. A return of 20. Guys. Thank you so much, Beth. Yeah, that was a big deal. Boo Smith played virtually none of that first half. Oh, the throw is behind. Daniel Porter in the backfield. They give it to him. Porter runs on second and 10 and picks up a yard. If Auburn could stop him on third and nine. Jenkins. Warmed and brought down. At his size of using that spin move. Second punt of the day for Kate Glasgow. Freshman. Poor kick, but gets a great roll. Picked up by Mario Bannon. Couple throws back, but he really managed the system well. 
Wants to throw on first down. It's complete. Finds Terrell Zachary. On the run, Ontario Michaela scoops out left side, close to the first. Saw that play selection. Over two of every three plays have been a run for Auburn. Todd throws it. Incomplete. Fannin had it. This receiver from the ball. 57 on the offense. Ten-yard penalty from the previous spot. Repeat second down. Second down and 11. End around. This time, this is Michaela. Power of Tate and the quickness of Michaela. Third and three. Once again, a quick snap. Todd sets. Throws complete across the middle. Darvin Adams. His second catch ball is loose. And Louisiana Tech has the football. Bulldog football. Sec they know how to take the football away. So a quick change. Good field possession for Louisiana Tech. Trying to capitalize. Critical fumble and turnover. Porter with the carry. Gets into the secondary. Another carry for Porter. And this time he is... Slow developing play. Jenkins heaves it up deep. Nobody home except for Auburn. Intercepted by the freshman, Darren Bates. That says something. Out of the end zone. Hand off, Ben Tate. Rumbles out across the five, down to the... That's just half the list. On second down. Incomplete four. Todd uh -oh. has a man wide open. Zachary! What kind of speed does he have? Good enough. Touchdown, Auburn. Corey, he bit on the fake. It's an out and up, and what an enormous play to energize the 80s. Kickoff. Low bouncer. Livers will have to pick it up. Opportunity for Louisiana Tech to stay in this ball game. They need a significant drive. First man through, Daniel Porter. Second and sixth, fake the handoff. Play action. Jenkins wants a bunch, has a man. Incomplete. Third down play. Jenkins underneath. Livas wouldn't look twice here in the second half. Anthony Gully back deep for the first time today for Auburn. He feels it, makes the first man miss, but can't get away from the close to Jordan Hare Stadium. We'll work on it. First down play for Auburn. Mario Fannin stays alive. For Critical time to get a stop. Wildcat formation. Cody Burns into the game, and Burns hands it off. They go right side. Michaela close to third down at two. Todd back in the ball game. First man through is Ben Tate. And Tate is stood up. Not a good one. Inside handoff. Michaela takes it out around the right tackle and gets it. Todd wants to throw on first down and 10. And again, he wants a bunch. And again, he's going to Terrell Zach. Todd tries the right side. Incomplete pass. Third down and 10. On the out there for the young freshman. High punt, Livis, fair catch called for, fair catch made. Eight. Yeah, but I guess they got the sweet tee to offset it. Quarterback keeper, Ross. The two plies and the quilteds, they stay on the roll too long. <laughs> Perfect. That's the type of in depth information that you need and only Beth can deliver. Third down and five. Bulldogs want to stay on the field. Quick pass is caught. Linwood can't hold on. Adrian Luke here in the third quarter. Lasco, another punt. Anthony Gully lets it bounce. And it takes a great roll if you're an Auburn Tiger fan. Punt. He really struggled over the last couple of years trying to win in his debut. Handoff, left side. Michaela, the fresh. Another quick snap. Michaela. Goes out of bounds. Pick up. Another give to the freshman. Third in a row. And McKayla pays coming off an injury with Tampa Bay. All sorts of ability he had in that backfield with Ron. Allen. Come out of Auburn. Fifth straight run for McKayla. Holding number 66 on the offense. Ten-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat third down. 
After the penalty. Oh, little flea flicker. Incomplete. Hit a 49-yarder today. This 47-yarder should be a tip shot. And it's good. Only oh, get some yards on this kickoff return. Their best option, fields it. This is Livin. Livis shot across the teams. They've got to find a way to win that part of the game. Tyrone Duplessis, true freshman, tries the middle. Father, Vince Dooley, actually in the building today, we're told. Longtime head coach with the Georgia Bulldogs, Coach Herschel Walker. Not an athlete. Offense in the third quarter. Jenkins wants to run for it, has the first down and a bunch more. Has a block, out of bounds at the 30. Locking downfield, 30 years, 30 yards past the line of scrimmage. Pocket collapsing and down goes Jenkins. That football. Jenkins kind of set something up. Little screen in the middle of the field, and the Tech needs to get to the 21-yard line. Blitz is on. Pass is complete. R.P. Stewart out of on fourth and nine. They're not going to go for it. They kick the field goal, and Nelson. How do you do? What big win anytime you can knock off a bull team from the ACC a year ago. Kickoff, pretty good. Down to the four-yard line. Ontario McCaleb. On the return, Caleb's been a busy man. Play, but the effort has been there tonight. Cody Burns in the game, takes the direct snap, and Burns. That's when you have a chance of real success. Pitch out, right side. McCaleb with room, trips over his own man. 10 to three, and they've got themselves a 10 point lead as we begin the fourth quarter. Ontario McCaleb. Ontario McCaleb and Bo Jackson. Fantastic company to keep second down and nine this time they fake to Michaela Todd wants to throw perfectly feathered pass finds as they're allowing the six foot three Darvin Adams to get down the field Michaela pretty impressive Caleb starts about six yards deep in the backfield and quickly picks it up in that zone. That guy with his speed to get outside, he's going to make a play. Todd, maybe a broken play, nothing doing. Finally gets it out to Zachary, who is dropped for a big time. Points, they've got to get touchdowns and not field goals. Todd, incomplete. A little bit high. Get to the one to get the first down. May as well just get a touchdown. And they go to the end zone, and they get it. They get the touchdown, Darvin Adams. Buddy, tremendous throw. The one-on-one -on -one situation, and Todd makes some pay. Livis on the return. He's been contained fairly well so far today. Gets out across the 30, lines up on the left side of the line. Top of your screen. Running play. Daniel Porter, best run of the second half, a pickup of nine. It's not sustaining drives, just one sustained drive. Keep it on the ground, and they get the first down. One SWAC team taking on an SEC team earlier today. That was Jackson State losing to Mississippi. Of course, the run as well. And off on second down. Tyrone Duplessis. See how this shotgun snap goes. It's a beauty. Good one for Stephen Warner. Pass is incomplete. Fourth quarter action. Pass interference, number six on the defense. Now penalty will be enforced at the spot of the foul. Automatic first. Second half has been a different story. Bigger, stronger, more physical SEC teams. Um, they've just not been able to get it going in this second half. Another fastball had to go through a lot of arms. Play action, trying to dump it across the middle of Porter. Glasgow's been busier than he would have liked here in the second half. Only punted once in the first half, but this is now punt number five in the second half. This one not so good.
It'll be down close to the 30 point lead. Looking for more. Also look at a bleach and clock. First man through, Ben Tate. Rumbles forward for Baton Rouge. They're going to play a conference game against Vanderbilt. Pitch and catch out in the flat. Mario Fannin has the catch for Fannin. That is catch number six. Athletes down there, Baton Rouge. Tate again getting the carry on first down. Takes a shot. Tim Bradford out with a sprained shoulder. And have a 220-pound battering ram in Ben Tate that you can go to after you give series. He stays out the entire time. If they're going to run Ontario McCaleb, he stays out there until he needs a blow. Speaking of, there is Ontario McCaleb. Receivers, multiple running backs, multiple formations. Gives every... Out in the flat, easy completion. Cannon, catch number seven. Pushed out of bounds. Going to get a lot of touches in the course of a game. Dodd, underneath, Tate with the catch out of the backfield. Down to the 11. A chance to score touchdowns. Lots of diversity. On the ground, Tate, barrels. Group up front. Those big guys conditioned really well. Pitch out, Cody Burns. Play is. Snap the ball with 20 seconds left in the play clock. Bannon, back down to 15, and again a quick snap. Out to McKayla, and the freshman scores the touchdown. His first touchdown of what should be a fantastic career. He is just simply too much. Auburn even lines up to kick their extra points quickly. Here from a member of the student body after this kickoff. From the end zone, a little bit of a zig, a little bit of a zag, DJ Morrow. Family tradition. For ESPNU Campus Connection, I'm Alicia Hamm. Thank this has got to be a huge relief for him. With all the talking, all the discomfort that came with his high joy playing for him, and how much respect they had for him when he was leading then the best defense in college football. That made time with him, Eric, because we got a chance to do yesterday that Auburn man he talks about has and he certainly embraces all of those out he gives it all to Ted Roof so what he's doing right now is something that he doesn't have all like a lot of experience doing except for two years when he struggled at Iowa especially the second time around a Bill Belichick comes to mind for me at Cleveland third down and 11 Maybe a four-down situation for the Bulldogs. And we're going to see if it is. A sack by Mike Blum. Guys that play relentless football, that's what they're recruiting. We've seen it tonight with Nick Fairley, their junior college recruit. You see it there with Mike Blanc and Jake Ritt. Yeah, congratulations to Max Hall and BYU. I don't care who's the quarterback at Oklahoma. You knock off the, is the backup, kid from Hoover, Alabama. Bottle hands it off. Ben Tate, another carry. All time in the history of the school. 20th carry of the day for Tate. Over 100 yards and then some. That'll give him about 115.